Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sun Asia, I'm name is Shanks and today we are playing a 1v1 matchup on the beautiful map Forts of Brunen and BFME1 on the patch 2.22 between Rohan and Isengard. <laughs> If you don't know what's happening, there is currently a tournament going on for the patch 2.22 which is hosted by a Turkish community and this is the semi-finals of that. And you know me, I never do normal stuff. So I want to actually start with our work pit and for that reason we will be skipping the Uruk pit and building two furnaces inside the castle. Defending is overrated. Offense is the best defense. And I'm still sick by the way, I cannot believe it guys, I cannot recover. Dude, when I was younger, I was actually getting sick, and one day later, one day after, I was already feeling alright. But, you know, the older you get, <laughs> the longer it takes to restore, you know, for the restoration, and the heal ability doesn't work on me anymore. Okay, I mean, look at this. <laughs> we have no defense, dude. But it's okay, we will be at least able to creep this, which means more money, and hopefully the second meal is gonna not be, un not gonna be touched anytime soon. Okay, nice one. You secured the creep, that's good. Uh, unlike the soldiers, the peasants or the orcs, the uruks, they need a bit more experience to get to level 2. Basically, if a goblin, um, you know, if an orc or a soldier or a peasant would creep this goblin layer, they would hit at least level 2. But a uruk needs more than that. Why are you asking? Glad you're asking, because this is not a level of mindless orcs. These are urukai. Their armor is thick and their shields broad. I mean, that's not the best start into the game. I'm not gonna be... I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think that's a horrible start into the game. We have not managed to defend any of these settlements. Very good start for the, for the opening player, Son Goku. He's actually using the Super Saiyan mod. You know what I'm saying? Going inside the jeans. And we are falling apart. Hopefully, we will still be able to fight back though. But I'm a player. I like to hide from behind. I mean, don't... You know... <laughs> hey, there was like, don't take me, you know, literally with the words. <laughs> Not always fighting from behind, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, in the RTS games in BFME, I've, I have the feeling that if I get a lead early game, it's not gonna take a long time for me to finish. So, when I fall behind at the beginning of the game, the games are usually more entertaining and hopefully also more fun for you guys to watch. Okay, actually we are able to recover and the meal we just you know, got from the creep is also untouched. We can also use this discount from the wood bonus of these three lumber mills to actually fill the base with furnaces exclusively. And the last spot is going to be saved up for the work pit for the work riders. My works are hungry, as the works would like to say. Okay, we've also war chant. Our Uruk from the beginning of the game is actually level 2, but also the opening was able to creep. I see a level 2 peasant battalion. Which is also gonna be like a nightmare to defend. But it's okay though. I mean, we have still two meals after losing this one. And now they have discount on the work pit. Oh, but he has already this Rohirrim on the field. Oh my goodness, just like in the films, you know, the Rohirrim are crashing the Urukai. I mean, they didn't kill us though. We can actually try to creep. Hopefully, we will be able to do that. Would be awesome. And also this mill is gonna be taken down though. It's fine, it's fine. I mean, we have good eco, we have full furnaces inside the castle, so we should be in a good spot. And after like one, two, three warp ladders in total, we can also demolish the warp pit and actually build the armory. So we can upgrade them with the forge plates and heavy armor. Oh, he stole, I mean, ah, we got the money though, that's good. Okay, so what we can also do is we can pick up the Vision of Palantir from the Spellbook of Isengard and then use it on the Warg Riders and this way we can outrun and also chase and catch the enemy Rohirrim. And uh, he needs to micro around. So basically there is a way you can, you know, get away from somebody who's using Palantir and you need to run in circles like zigzag, you know, like a snake. If he doesn't do that, we will be able to catch them and eventually take them down. You new riders better keep those dogs in control. Okay, that's good. Um, we can now with the Warcraft also creep and kind of recover a little bit. 
and also kill this level 3 peasant. They have no chance against my Vorks, because my Vorks are hungry. Look, Meredok Brandybuck. Yeah, you better hide, my friend. You better, you better use this Elvin Cloak. And also, Elvin Cloak was kind of used, right, in, in, the, in the Harry Potter. I mean, not really an Elvin Cloak, but it was also like a cloak, which was granting invisibility. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. I'm a nerd, I know. I'm a nerd. Sorry for that. Okay, I mean, we are in a good spot, I think. There is not enough pressure. I'm assuming he's creeping. Or the Hobbit is actually playing around with us. Dude, sneaky little Marriott of Brand. Look at him. Look at him. This guy is annoying. So I'm not going to fall for this one more time. You can actually group them all. There's two war titles and war chant, war chant them at the same time. Okay, now we can war chant them. That's why we can kill the farm faster and also creep faster. Because we have... Oh, here's King Theoden up on the field. Okay, now we gotta recruit also lords to fighting Urukai. The second you see a hero when you play Isengard, you wanna deal with, you wanna actually shut him down, then you need to recruit the lords, who is the best anti-hero in the entire game. And guys, question to you in the comment section down below. Which faction in Battle for Middle Earth 1 is your most favorite faction? Is it Isengard, Gondor, Rohan or Mordor? Because, you know, based on your answer, you can also try to play your favorite faction in the upcoming days. Because I hope that I will be recovering from this uh, sickness <laughs> and hopefully I will be feeling better very soon. And the second I start feeling better, we will also be hosting a Beef Me One tournament. You can also watch every single game of that in the Twitch stream, by the way. Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. You can find the link for that in the video description down below. Okay, we have used the Palantir, so if he's not paying attention... Hey, what, the, that's the thing that annoys me the most. So, alongside with the Gondor Knights or the Rohirrim, the Vorks are so incredibly difficult to micro. I'm telling you guys. I don't know. They don't want to listen, you know? <laughs> when you, you, can con, you, know, you can control and micro with a Gondor Knight or a Rohirrim way, way better than with the Vork Riders. And dude, we are rich though. What the heck? <laughs> we have, I didn't even pay attention. We have 2,000 in the bank. Uh, we have armory. We have lords. We can now start buying every single upgrade we need. So let's start with the forge plate and heavy armor. Uh, not heavy armor, the banner. Banner is extremely important for Isengard. I don't think we can kill this lord though. I mean, we can kill the Theodin. Because lords is only level 1. And we need to be level 3 at bare minimum to unlock the carnage. With the carnage, we can draw the sword and get inside the jeans. Now, with industry, we should be even growing more rich. But it's important to not lose any of the war areas. It's very important. Can we kill him, please? My watch is still on cooldown for the next couple of seconds. I know. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, obviously, Cripple doesn't last for, a, you know, for an eternity. And uh, he's gonna get away. It, it is so it is, though. It is so it is. I think we can fight this. I mean, we have also Forge Blades and Banner. And here's Theodin, which is a bit weaker than the Warchant. So Warchant plus Hole should be able to beat the Rohirrim eventually, right? Right? If he's not paying attention, I will cripple him once again. Watch this, guys. And... Oh, Lord, is so OP, dude. Lord, is so OP. He's like, he just crippled me. He cannot have cripple once again. But little you know, that is Lourdes, the fighting Urukai, one of the two heroes from the Isengard faction, my friend. In Boom, we got also the last hit from, with the Lourdes, and he's almost level 3 to unlock the Carnage. That's juicy. That's very nice. I like that. I mean, at some point of the game, we will need infantry, though. I mean, the problem with the War Tires is, it's not a problem, but, you know, it's like a fact. Isengard is an infantry-based faction. So basically, if you want to scale, you can only scale with Isengard infantry. So Uruk Pit is required. You need to recruit Uruks, crossbowmen, and also pikemen. Especially against Rohan or Gondor, the pikemen are essential for your army. And the reason for that is, not only we are facing against the Ridamar faction, Rohan, but also the horsemen, from Gondor and Rohan, they have, the, they have the possibility to purchase the shields. The Knight Shields for Gondor or the Horseman Shield for Rohan. And these shields, besides giving them additional armor against arrows, also make them tankier against enemy cavalry. So, long story short, you will fall behind. And look how many Rohirrim he has on the field. 
It's very hard also to keep fighting against them without Warchant. But very soon we will make the transition. I want to also recruit uh, Saruman eventually later on. Oh! Oh no, 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 no. I messed up. Um, well, that's not good, guys. I lost one of the three war gliders I had on the field. That's very unfortunate. Oh, he's coming for the base rush, but I have a surprise for you. I can triple you once again. And this time I just need to kill one unit. Then my lord is gonna hit level 3. And you shall not move. And look at this. We can draw the sword, kill one of the Rohirrim only, and then we get level 3. Then we can use Carnage and... Oh, hold on a second. Now watch this. Carnage time. <laughs> King Theorin. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's getting bullied by lords every single time. Oh, he, oh, oh, please move. Stop. Okay. I mean, I take it. It's not, uh, it's not the end of the world. The good thing about this map, the Forts of Brunin 2, is you have like two outposts. And they are not visible. I mean, they are visible, but... They are not in a, in a, in a point, but uh, the opponent uses all the time. So basically, you can hide them, kinda, and build economy on them, right? Three furnaces here. And there is a chance he... We just killed one row here, by the way. It's good. Don't lose the war guy, level two! Oh, the, sorry for screaming. Dude, I cannot afford to lose yet another one, you know? Oh, I see you. You have picked uh, Elvin Wood. I don't. I won't cover this. There is no, you know, there is no reason for me to actually fight on the spot. So I can just let it go. And we have Lourdes back on the back in the business. Okay, so um, he has more who hit him. He's spamming them all the time. But as far as I can see, he has not the shields yet. Shields are required. I mean, his mistake is that he didn't rush shields. The second you realize, okay, my opponent has no pikemen, then you need to rush the horseman shield and keep rushing the enemy castle all the time that's very important i mean he's doing good map control wise but it's you know it's fine because evil factions like isengard and mordor they don't need full map control you know like when you have like two mills with an outpost with three furnaces trust me on that one you will grow rich no matter what it's okay when we lose this outpost it's not a big deal we can keep him busy there, and in the meantime, we can build the army Worthy of Mordor. And look at this, who wanna die again? <laughs> Theodian King is back on the back on the menu. And deja vu time, boys. It's gonna happen once again, trust me. I'm beating him, I'm beating him, I'm beating him. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> cripple, lords. What? Hey, what? Why did you cripple him, please? What was, what just happened? Okay. I mean, let's throw the sword and look at this. He's chunking him, boys. Watch this. Tuck. Tuck. And out are you. Oh, Lord is angry, boys. Now we have the leadership unlocked. And that's what I'm talking about. Dude, Isengard army. You know, you have not many possibilities. True, but the amount of possibilities you get, you get, are extremely reliable. What it do? I mean, obviously, Isengard is the faction with the least heroes. So we have only two heroes, Lourdes and Saruman. But trust me, every one of these is so essential and so incredibly powerful. And they are skilling hardcore as well, even Lourdes. Like a hero with sword, bow, carnage, leadership, pillage, and then cripple on top of that. I mean, what else do you want? And what else do you expect from a hero for 1400 resources only? And now I have combos. Oh, I can watch and there's no problem. There we go. I mean, we have double buff now at this point. 110 pers. Oh, look at him, boys. He's rushing from the other location too. We need. Okay, so I didn't want to do this, but I think this guy is actually forcing me to spam pikemen. I'm gonna spam pikemen now as we are talking. <laughs> And as he has only Rohirrim, he has no way dealing with the pikeman spam. Like, that's normally the stuff you are supposed to do, right? Against Gondor or Rohan, you want to start with Urupit, get your Urupit to level 2, or we killed the Rohirrim with that, that's good. Uh, you want to get your Urupit to level 2, and then, you know, start recruiting pikemen all the time. 
This way you can counter the enemy horsemen. Okay, so we are prepared. We have two combos with Lord's leadership. And in the worst case scenario, if he engages on us with the Alvin Wood, we can cover this. By the way, quick tip, guys. If you play Isengard against Gondor or Rohan, you don't want to be the one who is opening with the Tainted Land. Because when you do that, he has the chance to cover your land. Then you will lose all your advantages. So you want to be the one who is patient and wait for him to use it first. The second he's using it, you can then use yours to cover his, and you have the advantage once again. I mean, that was unlucky though. It outposts though. It is what it is. It's okay. I mean, we have great map control. Look, our money. We are growing rich. We can now make even more pikemen. Just why not? Now we can start taking map control. And then, the second we do that, we need to also spill the siege wards. I personally don't want to give my opening too much time. And there is absolutely no reason why you should do that. The second you get ahead with Isengard, it's important. Look, the steel. Hey, Theodin, dude. <laughs> are, you not, are you not tired yet, Theodin? Are you not done yet, dude? How many times do you want to get killed, actually, in one video game? Um, what I'm trying to say is like, oh, you cannot fight this, by the way. I have please. Um, when you get ahead with Isengard, you want to make sure that you build the siege works and actually siege his castle. That's very important. Don't give him time to get stronger. And that's the power spike of power spike, not power spank. Power spike, because I saw you guys making fun of me by saying power spank accidentally. Dude, I'm sick. Give me a break. And look at this now. Boom. Tainted land. And maybe you cannot hear my voice, but when I'm sick, I can maybe sometimes misspeak, guys. And English is not my native language, by the way, if you have not noticed yet. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I, I read every single comment, by the way, guys. Oh, are they gone? Are they gone? Hey, hey, King Elisar. No, 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 no. You are not getting inside the jeans this time, my friends. No, no, no. Okay, we can now recapture this outpost and build the siege works. And look at them. Would you look at that guy? I was kind of sneaking in the outpost. It's like WTF. Yes, sir. That's that's Lords, my friend. That's Lords. And uh, after this one, we will be hopefully able to move to the Grand Finals of the Spring Tournament. Which again is not hosted by myself. It's actually hosted by a Turkish community. And I'm participating in it. And hopefully we'll be I will hopefully I won't disappoint you guys. Okay. Furnace, furnace. There we go. Nice. Ooh. We destroyed their camp. I smell man flesh. Okay, so dude, we have full map control almost. I mean, yes, I mean, we can now take the rest of the map with the war guiders too. But in, in you know, just for the worst case scenario, we can even make more units. You know, better, better safe than sorry. The war guiders. Oh, King Theodin, he's looking for it again. He wanna, he wanna do it again. This, this Theodin. I mean, how many times do you want me to kill you? Actually, trust me. Like I can do that all day, as Captain America would like to say. And yes, I also watch Marvel films. Okay, guys, judge me now. Come on now. I think they are good, though. I mean, it's my opinion. What's your opinion about the Marvel films, you know? Like the Avengers 1, 2, and stuff like this. I think they are not bad. Like, very, very great actors. Lots of, uh, you know... <laughs> like, the cinematics of this is kind of nuts, though. Like, the amount of time in editing and also cinematic effects they added to these films. And that's the reason why Hollywood is actually such a great thing. Like, the amount of money they invest into one film, I can, I can guarantee you that other, count, other countries don't invest that much money into the films for the entire year. Like, millions of dollars, you know? Like, sometimes it's crazy when you think about it. Like, how, what was the budget for this film? Five million dollars. And that's nothing, by the way. I mean, I know films for far more than that. Even the upcoming Lord of the Rings series on Amazon should be the most expensive series of all time, which means multiple mil hundreds of millions of dollars will be invested into that. But if I gotta be honest with you guys, the first teaser in the trailer wasn't really impressing me. You know, it was kind of more a bit, a bit of a, dis uh, a bit amount of a dis disappointment. I know the opinion. I can't even talk. I know the opinions are like different in this matter. 
and I don't want to actually start like a unneeded discussion, just sharing my opinion with you. I mean, it didn't feel like Lord of the Rings to me. Yes, now you can say, yeah, but Shanks, it's not Lord of the Rings trilogy. It's obviously different. I get it. But also the atmosphere and the entire feeling about it didn't feel the same. Not even close to be the same. Lift it up. Keep your weapons Let's low. take up hunting. We will take Are they going in the weather side by side? Oh. The thing is, and that's the sad part about it, we will never be able to see Legolas again. We will never be able to see Aragorn again. And never be, you know, Gimli, Gandalf, all that stuff. It's not gonna happen anymore. And even if we somehow do see them, they won't be the same actors anymore. And it's kind of good and bad at the same time. What is good about it, nothing can actually ruin the experience you meet. Like back in 20 years ago, right? That's a good thing in my opinion. Sometimes it's good when you don't continue something because most of the time if you actually make a remaster and you are trying to milk more money from the people who are actually into the Lord of the Rings, you can ruin their vision of Lord of the Rings and that should be a crime and the guy should be going into the prison for doing this. Oh, Aragorn, you want to fight this? Aragorn? Aragorn's son? How long will he last? Boom, war chance. He's trying it every single time. Dude, I have also my land. My land. What are you expecting what's going to happen? Do you think I'm not going to cover this? <laughs> okay, let's go inside the jeans. Dude, I'm just Q-clicking at this point. Just go inside. I think we are strong enough. Freezing rain means they have no leadership. Lords is in level 7. It's Theoden King. Dies, I think, for... I don't know. Guys, did you count? How many times did we kill Theoden King in this game? I even forgot to count. Maybe you can now say in the comment section down below as Gimli, that's still only counts as one. Gigi's gonna be cold from Son Goku. Gigi well played. It was like a risky opening for us with the war pit, but it was working out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one to see something else. Then always the same Uruk pit opening. As you guys know, I'm trying always some different stuff. And if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck and also stay beyond standards. Peace out. But first of all, we gotta check how many units we killed and how much money we gathered. Oh my goodness, 53,000. We killed less units. We lost more, but Isengard doesn't care. Peace out.